Away from the Senate and the lack of confirmation, the House of Representatives has been debating ways to strengthen the EFCC to fight corruption. Some lawmakers have proposed fresh amendments to the EFCC Act of 2004. We have details in this next report. Motion say aye. At the House of Representatives, four consolidated bills ostensibly seeking to empower the EFCC have passed second reading at a session presided over by the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Honorable Yakubu Dogara. The lawmaker representing Abi Yako Federal Constituency in Cross River State, Honorable Basiewa, is one of the co-sponsors of the bill seeking fresh amendments to the EFCC Act. He gives reasons for his proposals. Mr. Speaker, my amendment or our amendment is to open up is to open up the economic and financial uh, uh, crimes commission let it not be the responsibility of the president of the federal republic of nigeria alone to so appoint and so recommend for removal why am i saying this mr speaker that automatically makes the commission to listen to the president of the federal republic of nigeria we suffered this in the uh, uh, past administrations, where certain acts were very clear that the Commission should ordinarily go into investigating, but they find it difficult because they don't want to, op to offend the President. Mr. Speaker, my amendment is intended to open up the Commission and give powers to the people that gave us their mandate to represent them. I'm talking about Nigerians. I know too well that so many petitions from citizens are sent to the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, and those petitions are never investigated. And when that happens, I mean, nothing again goes on. Apart from wanting to insulate the anti-graft agency from the influence of the presidency and enhance its financial autonomy, his amendment also prescribes tougher penalties for stealing public money and the need to create a special court for speedy trial of cases. We have tribunals that addresses election petitions. We are proposing that it will help us a great deal, a great deal as a country to establish a special court, a special court that will try all cases emanating from the economic and financial crimes. And of course, as established, they should go with timelines within which those cases will be, will be addressed. Another lawmaker, Mr. Kayode Oladile, representing Imeko Afon, Egbado North Federal Constituency of Ogun State, reacted to the need for special court and also proposed some amendments. You will recall, Mr. Speaker, that a special crimes court bill was read for the first time on the floor of the House two weeks ago. And what that intends to do, without any attempt to argue that bill, is to bring all the special crimes together including the, anti the corruption issues, as, as, as well as terrorism and uh, cybercrime. Put them together, put them together and assign them to a special court. So if we want to establish another court within this bill, by this amendment we seek to uh, do, it will uh, duplicate that effort. Another area, Mr. Speaker, that uh, my Amendment, my bill seeks to amend, is section 20 of the EFCC Act. If a person is convicted under the Act, that, the, 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 the person will forfeit his assets to the federal government. But the question is, the federal government is not the only, the only victim of financial, economic and financial crimes. And if we intend to achieve justice, any money recovered should not just go to the federal government, but it should go to the agency involved. It can be state government, it can be individuals, and it can be, it can be corporate entity. The Speaker of the House dwelt more on the issue of the special court and also invited members to make comments. Section 6, subsection 4A of the Constitution, in view of the fact that um, all the superior courts in the country are established by the Constitution, and any additional court that we establish by law is deemed to have a subordinate jurisdiction to that of the high court. So it therefore means that appeals from that court will lay to, high, to the high court, and then from high court to court of appeal, court of appeal 
to Supreme Court. So you now see how you will have lengthened the anti-corruption trial. So I don't know how we can reconcile that. I want to suggest and align myself with Honorable Kaudi that it is better to create a special court that will take care of every, not just ESCC matter, uh, the insurgency, what have you, areas that we need to be, I mean, be smart about, areas or area we've not been able to do enough to show that we want to deal with those issues. I want to appeal that we should consider taking that to the Constitutional Amendment Committee to see that the Constitution is, is the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria is amended to accommodate these courts. Mr. Speaker, we have the IST that is an investment court. What you just articulated as what will happen if we create this court with, with an outside of the parliament is what is happening with IST presently. Some people who have a case in IST, they will deliberately go to a federal high court and wait for you. When you finish your IST, the case, the case will be in the Federal High Court and take another number of months. So IST have to resolve to engage people and God get their consent to be sure that they want to come under the jurisdiction of IST before they embark on any case. Bill is referred to Committee on Financial Crimes. A committee will examine the bill more critically, organize public hearings, collate suggestions and amendments, and report back to the House when its work is done.